Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this OPI Matte Top Coat Review. I just went to Ulta and bought this one and you get this match. This is what the bottle looks like. It's kind of matte. This is what the back looks like. This says I'm trying to buy everything like truly free, but sometimes it's just real hard to switch. Try to research online. In some websites says that it is and in some others it was like no it's not so I don't really know anymore to be honest I wanted to buy the Shine Glaze Magic Matte that one is $7.50 I think which I mean is not that much of a difference but it is I went to the store and that's like the only bottle they had I don't even know since when the color of the product itself looked yellow to me this was the first time that I saw that and I'm not really sure if that's how it's meant to be so I did my nails I did my homework guys they wanted to try how this um, matte top coat behaves in like different shapes so I brought you closer to my nails I always kind of like shake on the smell if it's too strong it's not it's normal the brush I love it I can see it working but I can see it transferring I did that on the silver one then didn't clean the brush went to the black one and you can see like kind of like silver in the black so I'm just cleaning my brush and then I'm moving on to this one the bottle doesn't claim that it's going to dry fast so I'm not expecting that it's dried I think I'm just going to give it five more minutes to just fully dry and because I'm really curious about how the black will look like matte I'm just going to go and paint this other nails well do you see like I did my nail and then you can see you just have to clean this one, black one, because if not, you're just gonna have black leftover polish on the bottle. And my nails were dry. You can see that and this thing that happens right here, I don't like. That you have to clean for 10 bucks. I never had this issue with the Sally Hansen. Okay, here I have the Sally Hansen one that I used to love, but then I stopped using it. I'm going in there and there is no transfer in this part. Hold on, I'm just going to compare these two. This is a Sally Hansen nail. And then the OPI is making a mess, I can see that. So, do you see that? It's actually removing my nail polish. Yeah, it is. The uh, Sally Hansen is a bit more shiny than this one. This is the OPI, this is Sally Hansen. This one has a tiny bit in there, you can see, but this one, it removed my nail polish. If you go like more than once, which I tend to do, if I had done my nails like five minutes ago, then it's okay, I can get it. You have to be cleaning the brush after each nail. Nothing happened to this one, nothing happened to this one, nothing happened to the white one. I don't know, it's not that affordable. I'm not a fan. If this wouldn't, you know, remove nail polish so much, it would be perfect because the matte of this one is much better than the, the Sally Hansen. Just because I'm really curious about what happens when you do some nail art on your nails. I'm just going to add some polka dots. This is really last minute, so my dots are not perfect at all. I let this polka dots dry. I'm going to use OPI. And yeah, this happened. Smashed. And that's not cool and the brush has a bit of gold so it doesn't work with nail art and it's really bad because I really like the finish like the matte density so I didn't really like it I thought it was gonna be like super cool because of how many good reviews I read online but damn it removes nail polish if you know of anything else that is matte cruelty free let me know down below if you like this review and you'd like me to make more stuff like this let me know in the comments below give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff making diys all the good stuff so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll take you later and take care bye guys so i'm just going to let it dry for a while for okay hold on i did a really bad job at painting my nails